Man, Wolf Hunter do look beautiful sometimes, don't it? Me complimenting Wolf Hunter for looking nice for once, and then for some reason they drop this pilot model on me. Open fire! Maybe, maybe that little 7.7 .7 in the front? Yeah, take that. The I agree. Oh, my bombs might hit something. Did they hit? They're missing? They're hitting? No, I missed! Wow, the cats really do be a little bit tanky. I know they're basically firing pea shooters at me. Always... Yes, I got a couple of bullets in. Didn't do anything. Scratched the paint on the deck. Come on, boys, we're gonna do another pass. Yeah, the black cat. <laughs> it's fictional. In COD, they basically made up their own PBY that doesn't exist. There was no PBY that had a fixed nose gun 20 mils. And twin 50 cows. Yeah, that went about as well as I expected. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Get him, boys. <laughs> that is brave, though. The 30 cows in the blister pod still fighting to the very bitter end. And now. I think it's time for some reinforcements to show up. You just hear in the distance over there, increasing in volume. Hmm, yes, let me use my binoculars for target identification because why would I have anything more advanced than that? Hmm, yes, the target is made of enemy. And yeah, let me remind you, I'm bringing out the gun pods, which are two 20mm guns. <laughs> Rotary cannons, I don't know what you call them, Gatling minigun, the rotary cannons, along with of course the 30 mil rotary cannon. For maximum brrr. I mean all they needed was the A10 at two jimmies and things would have been a lot more peaceful. <laughs> I've got brought down by a fucking slingshot. I'll be on suicide watch if they see this. <laughs> I killed three Japanese PD boats and that's it. <laughs> three, three PD boats. My titanium bathtub in vulnerable plane with the engines located to the rear to keep them safe. Killed by three PD boats. Yeah, gotta gotta pop flares. Yeah, that'll fool the Japanese by popping flares. They probably think it's a fireworks display actually, and then confess to their senpai. That'll work, right? <laughs> that will work. Uh oh. <laughs> you know, it would have been smarter. Again, this brings us back to the A10 issue where when you think about it, you just need a platform that can fire lock-on missiles, right? So, why do I need to get in close with a Gatling gun when I can just launch missiles from far away? Ah, that's why, because it's cool. I suppose I've got to do some sneaky defensive flying now.
It's sort of like hit and run using the terrain as well. Oh shoot! Shoot! So this time we're carrying rocket pods with 84 rockets. That PT boy's getting a heart attack. But yeah, engaging them at level height is not really that smart. And even with the small caliber 7.5 or something, they've got really small caliber guns. I think even 6.5 some of them have. As you can see, I am just an aluminium gun platform. And they're putting holes in me. Oof. Ooh. This is going... How can I put it? I know it's a meme that the A-10 is not good. It's been memed that it's such a cool plane. But man, to be dunked on. To be dunked on. By BR. 1.7 boats. That barely have anti-aircraft guns. Look at all those little PT boats. Fuck you in particular. Gotta stay away from the main bunt of the enemy and pick around at their sides. I can't engage in a giant death blob of like 15 PT boats. I know not when to push my luck. I think I got both of them. Yeah, I definitely got one of them. The other ones might be dying. Oh, that's a lot of them. No, 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 no. I'm not that idiot. I'm idiotic, but not that idiotic. Unless... Okay, hang on a second. I got a few flight control issues right now. Oh shoot. It's time to activate my cheating loadout now. I think we're learning that an A-10 possibly would not have been as useful as we think it would have been. Scientists have come to this conclusion that maybe a single A-10 might not have changed the course of World War II. I mean, yeah sure, I might do a bit here and there. Might win a few battles even. But winning the whole war? Changing its course of history? Maybe not. I don't know if I'm firing these from too far. Oh, there's one destroyed. Another one destroyed. Another one destroyed. Now it feels like I'm playing Project Wingman. <laughs> You're playing Project Wingman and we're playing a horror. Yeah, just. You gotta survive, man. Oh, that's a lot of little boats. 
and both engines have been deadly damaged. Oh, the output is dropping significantly. Yeah, I can't even turn without losing altitude. I'm in a flyable condition, but look at this angle of attack. I'm not... I'm not surviving this. We're going down. Oh, dang it. The airframe was damaged enough to give me drag. The engines were too damaged, so the output was lowered. Five kilometer long boat column. Five kilometer long boat. That is some really credible defense right there, if I do say so. All right, boss. Here we go. And this time, I'm going to do a bombing run. Wait, wait a minute. Yeah, bomb activation, one second at least. Oh, look at those bomb racks. That looks pretty, doesn't it? Oh, say, can you see? <laughs> well, you heard of Hell's Highway, now get ready for Hell's River. Okay, I found a way to miss every single boat somehow with 500 pound of bombs. Bloody hell, we took a hammering. Alright, we're going to lose a lot of speed in this turn, but it's going to be worth it. Think of all the Dakar. Oh, there we go. Okay, we're going to need stronger bombs. So now we're carrying six 2,000 pounders. Nice. This thing already handled like a dump truck, and now we got one engine. Bro, one of your bombs flipped me up. Bloody hell. Uh, I can't steer anymore because I've got the bomb rearmed. We're going down, actually. I need to drop the weight. Yeah, have some bombs. <laughs> the bombs are flipping the boats! They're 2,000 pounds. Look at that! <laughs> I flipped the boat upside down with the bombs. That is beautiful. Nice. Now that was the cinematic strafing run I wanted all along. You look kind of chonk, mister. Oh no, and the bombs respawn now. And when they respawn, look, it just the plane starts sinking. It knows what's happening. It's like, well, shoot. Oh, we meet again. Whoop, whoop, pull up to rain. Whoop. Terrain. Ah! These fucking bombs are too heavy. Now that you're all spread out a little bit, you're going to be a bit more vulnerable, I hope. It didn't even hurt the gunner on top of the vehicle. It just poked a whole bunch of holes in it. Aha, enemy spotted. Yes. You can use the sidewinders against boats. You just have to lock onto your fired rockets, lol. <laughs> I guess that could be a thing. Like, you fire... I'm doing this just for the meme. So I can fire the rocket, then warm up onto it, and then lock on. There we go. Whee! So now I've got my missile following the rocket. Ah, 
I think there's much more efficient ways to do this, though. Okay, and the Japanese have poked a whole bunch of holes in us now. So, performance is reduced to nothing now. In fact, we're actually going down. Output is dropping. The drag is high. We're going down. This will be a water landing. Get your life vests on. You. You are dead. Picking the baby one, not the big boat. Always pick on people that are smaller than you. Oh, is the big ship going to tank it? Yes, the big ship's going to tank it. Wait, Maverick just fell short. We ran out of energy. But the big ship tanked it like a big brother for his little brother. Just like some anime trope. But will you survive a second volley? Can you protect your friend twice? I think that locked onto the actual brother. Not the little brother. Ego took out the big ship. <laughs> Lamo life lessons are only pe pick on people that are weaker than you. Yes, make sure to take advantage of weaker people that are being protected by stronger people. By leveraging the weak link in the chain. Oh, nice decal. Okay, that was pretty cool. Parry this, you fucking casual. I think that might be the last pass this A-10 would do. Even if that fire goes out, there's not enough power in the right engine. Hmm. A bad case of the wings falling off. Twin 20mm rotary cannons and a 30mm rotary cannon for maximum DACA. We have our first customer. Fuck you in particular. There you go, I'm learning that this thing handles like a bus when it's got the gun pods on. Look how much the vehicle bucks when I fire. Like where the crosshair is and where it dips down. Look at all that smoke. That sounds disappointing. Sounds like a, an excavator, some sort of jackhammer. Not as cool as the 30 mil, put it like that. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. And now I finally did it, where I managed to get the jump on some people. funny how sometimes I do amazing and other times just like eh my wing you bastards you took my wing can't have shit in Pearl Harbor Yes! A10 fanboys rise up. 
I'm not saying I'm part of you, I'm just saying you can rise up if you want to. You'll probably get shot down by some sort of anti-aircraft system, but you can try and rise up. Unfortunately, with the right engine crippled and several control surfaces shot out, the performance of this is now rather lacking. Hmm, the one... Actually, no, that's the engine that's broken. The working engine is the left one. Ah, we lost control surfaces of sorts. Yeah, elevator's gone. Goodbye. Oh, I die. Thank you forever. Bye. Hey, I remember I killed you earlier. I said nice decal, then slammed a maverick into you. Anyway, I think that concludes our experiment, because in nine deaths, I have only taken out 40 Japanese PT boats, which is around four PT boats for the cost of an A-10. I don't know about you, I'm not up to date with the economics of Japanese PT boats in 1940, but I'm pretty sure one A-10 for 40 PT boats is not really that good of an exchange anyway.